Hi my friends, I'm Mark and today I'm back again for Guitar Tricks Part 2. Part 2 means I already did Part 1, so if you mind you can have a look to Guitar Tricks Part 1. Okay, thanks a lot. And uh, why I'm doing Guitar Tricks Part 2? Simply because uh, I think I have a few tricks uh, more to show you. Quite simple, but uh, I think that uh, when your friends will look at you playing those tricks uh, they will blown away and they will think that you are a guitar god by the way you are a, a guitar god I'm not a guitar god and uh, another thing that is important for me I don't know for you but I will say to you that is that uh, I have been looking to my Google Analytics and I discover on my U YouTube channel that uh, I had 8 new followers 8 new followers so thanks a lot before I had to deal to 4 or 5 followers, now 10, more than 10, 13, okay, so thanks a lot. By the way, let's start with Guitar Tricks Part 2. The first tricks, trick I want to show you is, the, is with the whammy bar, but not in, the, in this verse, the regular verse, but uh, in this verse, okay. And the, it's quite funny, but I will show you now, okay. And then I, I will teach you how to do it, but it's quite simple. Okay, it didn't came out so perfect, but okay. Uh, if you want to play this, you have to put the fingers on the neck on the 12th fret on the second string and the 15th fret on the second string like this and you have to hammer the notes here. Then you have to put the whammy bar in this verse and play it moving down, okay, like this. Okay. Uh, but but fast, okay? How I'm how I'm going to show you now? Okay, fast. Then, uh, if you want to make the feedback at the end of the trick, you have to move the guitar back near the cabinet, and you have to move up the whammy bar. So you you will get that feedback that uh, is a little bit like uh, the airplane, okay? I will show you now. feedback from your amp it will came up uh, differently because it depends on the position and even how you put the fingers okay okay second tricks trick is quite simple it's really simple uh, on the same pattern you have to move the whammy bar uh, pushing it up and down uh, on down sorry down like this Okay, it's so simple, but I will show you how it plays or sound with the head. Okay, it has this nice uh, vibr vibration, okay? showed you slower but you can you can play it more faster and uh, remember when you play this trick you you have to fix the whammy bar okay here um, the trick is quite simple and it is in the same position so in the 12th and 15th fret on the second street you have to hammer 
as always and you have to move the whammy bar okay I will show you that you can see here you you, you have to push down like like, like this and uh, creating the vibration that maybe you are hearing now that uh, the bridge jump up and down okay okay in in uh, in, in this way <laughs> Okay, you can do the same in the in this bars with the whammy bar that is even quite nice. Now I I I, I got my leg here that is breaking because I'm taking up the guitar so I'm playing in a not comfortable po uh, position for showing you so be patient okay I do you Because uh, a lot of guitarists, I think they like to get a lot of feedback once they are playing, and uh, I think is a, a simple trick. But you have to learn with your ear, where you have to be with your guitar in the right position between the uh, guitar and the cabinet. Okay, here. So you have, you, you have practically to move your back and give it to the amp. Okay, and uh, he will give you as present the feedback. Okay, now uh, I will show you how the mo the movements are. Okay. <laughs> position I'm not able to move well the guitar but I will show you I, I, I will try <laughs> the feedback uh, with the, the right line where to go out okay you are you have to teach to the feedback where to go with, with your whammy bar okay uh, maybe we, with words is not so simple but you have to feel we, we, with your hands hand here in the whammy bar and you have to fly with the feedback okay important thing is uh, once you an important thing uh, for having a good feedback is even to use a good delay. In my case here I am being using and you can see here a Boss DD3 that is one of the cheapest uh, uh, delay that you can buy. It has 
three knobs okay simple and uh, I connected in my case on the send and the return channel because from there uh, I got more response from the, the head here and those tricks come out more easier okay so use your um, your fantasy of course but even a good a good uh, de uh, delay uh, the, the boss ones are for me if, for my taste one of the best um, I like it even uh, I, I, I think I have in the in the other room I, I got a flashback from uh, TC that is uh, even really good but okay my taste my personal taste goes for for the boss because it's a classical delay and uh, uh, for me it plays better for what I, I have to do okay so I hope you enjoyed this time and uh, see you next video I hope soon okay keep on rocking my friends <laughs> <laughs>